The price of fuel is increasing every day with fuel price over 600 naira per litre while compressed natural gas is 100 naira per kg. Using either liquefied petroleum gas that is LPG kit or compressed natural gas that is CNG kit it serves as an alternative fuel for cars. Then the big question is which one between CNG and LPG should I choose? So in today's video, we will be looking at the difference between compressed natural gas and liquefied petroleum gas. This will be a guide to help you make a good choice between CNG and LPG kits for your car conversion to gas. When it comes to fueling your car or converting your car to gas, you have a few options to consider and that is either using petrol or compressed natural gas like CNG or liquefied petroleum gas LPG. Let's take a closer look at the pros and the coins of each. Petrol, also known as gasoline, is the most widely used fuel for cars. It's easily available and offers good performance, but it comes at a high price. In Nigeria, the price of petrol is 650 per litre. The cost of petrol can fluctuate significantly impacting your budget. Additionally, petrol-powered cars have higher carbon emissions compared to other options. All right, next up is compressed natural gas or CNG. It's gaining popularity due to its lower cost and environmental benefits. Currently, in Nigeria, CNG is 100 naira per kg, which lasts longer than one litre of petrol. CNG is cleaner burning than petrol, which means it produces fewer harmful emissions. However, CNG refueling stations might be less common in some towns, limiting your long travel options. Liquefied petroleum gas or LPG is another alternative. It's cleaner than petrol but not as clean as CNG. LPG is widely available and conversions for existing petrol cars are possible. However, LPG powered cars may experience slightly lower fuel efficiency compared to petrol. And the price in Nigeria is 750 naira per kg and it lasts longer than one liter of petrol. As you can see, CNG and LPG are generally more cost effective than petrol, helping you save money in the long run. But there is more to consider. <laughs> yeah, there is more to consider. Okay, let's talk about the performance. Performance and convenience. CNG and LPG are good, but finding refueling stations might be a challenge. Yes especially during long journeys. Then, another thing, CNG cylinder takes up your boot. If you do not mind the CNG cylinder taking up your boot space, then CNG is a better bet. In the case of LPG, you also have option of installing Thorodal. Thorodal is a donut-shaped tank which fits in the space of a wheel serving your boot space. From an environmental perspective, CNG is the cleanest option, producing the least carbon emission followed by LPG. Petrol, on the other hand, has the highest carbon footprint. In conclusion, choosing between petrol, CNG and LPG depends on your priorities, cost, performance and environmental impact. Consider your driving habit, the availability of refueling stations and your environmental concerns before making a decision. Each option has its benefits and a trade-off. Whether you opt for the tried and true petrol, the cost-effective CNG or the cleaner burning LPG, the choice is ultimately yours. It is important to consider your specific needs regional availability and infrastructure when deciding between CNG and LPG for your vehicle. Alright, let's meet in the comment section for more details about CNG and LPG and how to convey your petrol car to CNG. Already I've made a video about how to convey your petrol car to CNG. Do well to check the video in the description of this video. Share this video to your family, share it to your friends, like and comment on this video. If you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe and the notification button below so that anytime we post a video like this or any other video, you can be notified. Thank you for joining me on this channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.